Hey friends, welcome back. So if you watch sports, you probably know who Erin Andrews is. She's an announcer, she's at a lot of the college football games, the pros. Um, she's been in the media a lot, and I was forwarded a little bit of like a behind the scenes video that she did for Women's Magazine about what's in her refrigerator. Coconut creamer, because I am a bit lactose. Always do yogurt for us in the morning. That's kind of bare essential. This is a family who loves cheese. You actually just missed it. We finished off pretty much all our cheese last night watching Monday Night Football, but we always have cheese in the house. Because we travel so much, it's hard for us to like keep things fresh. So we really live by these pre-made salads. We pretty much have one every single night. Cinnamon rolls if I'm home on the weekend and we wanna cook them up. That's kind of it, bare bones. And I wanted to do this video again, not to pick on Erin. I think Erin's awesome. She's super witty, she's super smart. She's got a great personality, she's beautiful. But <laughs> her food choices, I don't know. And, and so again, doing this video, I, I just hope that we learn something and maybe you can share with a friend so that you can see how some celebrities eat and why that way of eating may not be so ideal. So let's just cut to, to some of the footage and we'll, we'll talk as we go, but it's, it's kind of interesting. So here's her fridge. Here's the video that was in Women's Magazine in November. Fridge, anyways, it's just the two of us and a gold retriever, so it's not that hard, but mine has been um, about being really neat. So we try to like just organize it. Oops, this turkey bacon isn't in place. Let's fix it before he gets annoyed. <laughs> okay, so let's go back here. The first thing, what do we see? We see bottled water in plastic bottles. This is a big no-no, friends, okay? You can ignore everything else I say if this is the only thing that you take away from this. This is really important. So bottled water releases microplastic that are really harmful for your hormone levels. And again, if your husband is a professional athlete, you need good testosterone, DHEA, you need good androgens to recover and to perform at a very high level. For women too, I don't know if they have kids, but if they, she said she has a golden retriever, maybe they want to have kids, maybe they're looking to have children in the future. Aaron, you need to dump, all, there's a lot of plastic in there, okay? So it sounds crazy that there can be microplastics, but pretty much every plastic water bottle that's been independently tested has microplastics. This stuff is everywhere. What's the big deal about this? Again, these are, these. Some people have this perception, this illusion that the dose makes the poison. When it comes to microplastics and endocrine disrupting chemicals, they have nonlinear pharmacokinetics. What that really means is that a small amount can have a disproportionately large negative impact on our body. It's not like lead and arsenic and heavy metals where there's a linear increase. It, it, plastics totally uh, adhere to different pharmacokinetics in the body. So there's a lot of bad stuff in plastics. The next thing I see is some sort of orange juice or grape juice. Okay, it's probably from concentrate. It's probably trash, get rid of it. Make your juice from scratch or go buy it from someone who's using like a good old fashioned, you know, juicer type machine. Um, I see a little kombucha, I have no problem with that. Oh, I see, I see some yogurt here. Uh, this looks like some of the commercial yogurt that is loaded with sugar. So if you're getting, I can't tell, it looks like a cherry flavor, it's really hard to, to see here, but um, commercial yogurt is oftentimes loaded with sugar. People hear, oh, yogurt's good, dairy's good for women, it's good for bone mineral density, it's satiating, you get calcium, and that's protein. But you need to really watch your yogurt because most of it has tons of sugar, okay? Sometimes up to 47 grams of sugar I've seen in yogurt, so uh, all that, protein and all this stuff is not gonna negate the, the, all the sugar. So dump the plastic, especially plastic water, get your filtered water from somewhere else. Um, get orange, forget orange juice. I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're a professional athlete, okay, you can afford more juice, but make it from scratch and better yogurt. And I see some Heinz ketchup, okay. What's wrong with that? Well, sometimes this has high fructose corn syrup, okay. Uh, only in America can you get ketchup that has sugar from corn that's high fructose corn syrup. So high fructose corn syrup stimulates the lipogenic pathways in your liver to create non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and all that. You do not want high fructose corn syrup. Heinz um, ketchup has a ton of sugar and it even, a lot of it has high fructose corn syrup. Okay, let's see what else we have in the fridge. <laughs> Hi Women's Health, it's Erin Andrews and I'm gonna give you a peek Oh, 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 oh. we're getting some good stuff here. Hold on, hold on. Inside my fridge. Okay, 
Let's look at the cheese. <sighs> Aaron, you gotta do better on the cheese. Uh, you guys probably have the, the wherewithal uh, to purchase more art artesian type cheeses. So these are, I see string cheese here. Uh, a lot of the, the string cheese are like bottom of the barrel, uh, bottom of the barrel cheese. So what's up with cheese? Well, if you're going to get any dairy, if you're gonna have dairy at all, it needs to be raw, okay? Because a lot of the dairy that you're getting in, in most big box stores are, it's ultra pasteurized, it's homogenized, it's basically dead, all right? It's been treated, it's been dead, it's been killed. You don't want that. You wanna get the raw cheese. And so uh, these, these packages that I see are absolutely not raw. Now, uh, the other thing that you need to understand about dairy is if you ever break out, if you have acne, for people that have allergies or autoimmunity, they probably should really limit their dairy consumption, um, maybe limit it to a small amount of like raw unpasteurized cream or something, but uh, it can be a trigger for a lot of people, dairy can, uh, especially this type of dairy. So, um, wouldn't recommend that. Now, what we see here is some hummus. This looks like some, so hummus is made from garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans are heavily sprayed with glyphosate. Glyphosate is a really not so healthy uh, uh, herbicide that's out there. And if you're gonna get hummus, limit it, you know, make it yourself, which I highly recommend using sesame seeds and garbanzo beans, or whatever. Um, but what you need to realize is you must get organic hummus. They must be, if not, they're sprayed with glyphosate. You don't want glyphosate, okay? Um, so that's just a few things I see right here. Oh, we got some salad dressing. Oh, Aaron, oh, dude. We got some Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing. Okay, so what's up with that? It's, it's probably from either a mix of corn oil, soy oil, and canola oil, all of which are really, really bad. Uh, you do not want those, those oils. So that salad dressing, gotta go. Uh, Primal Kitchen is a great alternative. So go to Whole Foods or a natural food store and get Primal Kitchen. Uh, it looks like the, whatever um, barbecue sauce is here, looks like it might be okay, but, but that um, is, is not so hot. So yeah, get rid of the ranch dressing. I know it tastes good. I used to love it when I was a kid. I loved Domino's pizza. We would order Domino's pizza and I would dip it in the ranch and that was like the best thing ever, but I haven't had that for like 30 years. So I do not, you don't wanna go there, guys. You don't. Um, okay, so what else do we have? All right, here's the eggs. So let's pause on the eggs. Um, so these are okay eggs. They say that they're cage free. But what you wanna look for when it comes to eggs, I mean, if you have the time, get some backyard chickens. You can go on Craigslist right now and get backyard chickens. You can invest $100 in some wood or find wood for free and build a chicken coop. It's so much fun, it's so easy. You can get an automated chicken coop door opener that's battery operated, so it's like it's low maintenance and you can get your own backyard chicken. So if you're not gonna do that, I understand. Here's what you should do next. You should um, get pasture raised eggs. So a lot of chickens, they say cage free, but they live in like on a concrete floor in a warehouse where they never see bugs, they never see dirt, they never see sun. Uh, they're not healthy animals. Uh, you wouldn't want to eat an these animals, nor would you want to eat the eggs that they're producing. So pasture raised is key. Look for that. Try to get it from a local source. Water. All right, here we go. Here's a little snapshot. So I was talking about the water earlier. Here's a direct view. Indeed, these are plastic bottles. Uh, there's some kefir, there's some soy delicious, whatever. Um, again, what you're seeing on a lot of these advertisements on the bottle, so, so it looks like she's health conscious or whoever's doing the shopping is health conscious, but um, there's a lot of low fat stuff. Here's a little, little tip, pro tip. When a dairy product or any products is low fat, that often means it's loaded in sugar because if something doesn't have fat, what makes food taste good is salt, sugar, and fat, okay? So if you don't have salt because it's dairy, you don't have milk or you don't have fat because it's you know low fat, then you're gonna have sugar or sweetener. So when you see low fat, that's kind of a red flag, um, but you wanna make sure that it has low sugar. And yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I probably have about four or five bottles of wine in here. Wine diet, okay, so Aaron, you need to get organic wine that you know, is from a biodynamic vineyard. If you're drinking a lot of wine, because we know that wine is heavily sprayed, just like we talked about garbanzo beans. And if you're getting hummus, wine, uh, and if you look at a wine label, you never see the ingredients, but there's like about 80 or 100 different hidden additives that can be in, in, in commercial wine. So check out dryfarmwines.com. I don't have any financial affiliation with them. You can go to a, 
a wine shop and say, hey, look, I want to step up my game. I want wine that's made by a small vineyard, biodynamic, all of that. If you don't have time to go to a wine shop and source these things and talk to people, go to dryfarmwines.com. They can set you up. I know Todd White is out there literally going to Italy, going to Europe, going to these small little vineyards in Spain and procuring and visiting with these small winemakers to make sure that they're supplying you some really high quality wine. We've had a membership with them. Phenomenal wine. You don't wake up feeling lethargic. You don't wake up feeling like you just you know, got hit in the face. Like it, it really actually is, it makes a big difference. Uh, I like wine too, but I, I limit it personally to the weekends and support dry farm wines and organic uh, biodynamic vineyards. So, of course we have oh, oh, our... oh, 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 let's pause. Okay, what do we see here? So we see some, some berries, what appear to be blueberries. Okay, a good thing. Remember though, um, blueberries are only in season in North America in the summer. It's like, you know, early July to maybe, maybe September, okay? So what that means is if you're buying blueberries outside of that, they're coming from, guess what? South America, where they spray a ton of chemicals, it's unregulated. So uh, I'm a huge fan of blueberries and we have a ton of blueberry plants. I love raspberries, blueberries. Um, so uh, you know, I'm not saying never have blueberries outside of season, but when you do get them, make sure that they're from the Pacific Northwest, from Alaska, from Minnesota, from these, from these northern latitude states that, that do well growing them. Make sure they're organic and make sure that they're frozen. If they're fresh, anytime outside of like mid to late summer, they're coming from Latin America, they're probably sprayed. So rinse them off, always get organic, but I recommend, you know, kind of keeping it to a seasonal thing, um, unless you grow them yourself and you can freeze them. So these drawers are always a little scary. What we're gonna find in here? So even she knows. So even she knows that the stuff in this drawer is bad, right? So she's on to it. Just needs a little little motivation. Another golden retriever favorite, and sometimes a husband favorite, cheese sticks. Cheese sticks. So I know a lot of parents give these to their kids as well. Again, get raw cheese and just cut it yourself. String cheese is just processed crap. And having all that cheese next to plastic, it could probably emit microplastics, you know, not good for kids. This is my husband's goodie drawer. He's got his uh, gummy bears. Uh, so Canadian chocolate bars I'm, and European chocolate bars, I'm more of a fan compared to, you know, United States made candy. But again, a professional athlete eating this type of stuff, um, relegate it to like one day a week. You, you don't really don't want to be eating that sort of stuff. Um, not good. Huge and crazy, but I like to do it. Fruit snacks. Sugar. This is a family who loves cheese. You actually just missed it. We finished off pretty much all our cheese last night watching Monday Night Football, but we always have cheese. And Remember, she said she's a bit lactose, so why is she having a... Can't be having all the cheese. Like I said... All right, let's look at the vegetables. So um, a lot of people would think, oh, having a salad is healthy. Like, you gotta... And so as we can see here, these vegetables... Um, you know, we, we see just a bag of, of lettuce and things like that. Uh, it doesn't appear to be organic. Um, just having vegetables for a salad doesn't necessarily make you healthy. A lot of these big box commercial stores that are selling you this bag, bags of veggies, uh, oftentimes they're sp sprayed with preservatives to look nice and pretty. They're not, you know, farmed in organic biodynamic practices. Um, and they're in a bag, you know. Um, uh, if you want to eat a bunch of vegetables, which which is good. I mean, it's, it's totally fine. Everyone's a little bit different with their tastes and their preferences. Grow it yourself. If you can't grow it yourself, find a farmer in your area and, and sign up for what's called a community shared agricultural box. Every week, you know, during the, during the harvest, you know, starting in the early spring all the way to late fall, you can meet them or they'll deliver you a box of, of stuff that they're growing in season. That's what you want to aim for. Um, I don't know where Aaron lives, but it's, you know, it's hard to get lettuce right now anywhere north of San Francisco um, because it just doesn't grow in the winter, nor do carrots. Because we travel so much, it's hard for us to like keep things fresh. So we really live by these pre-made salads. See, so these pre-made salads, guys, just honestly, because look, think about it. So you have this pre-made salad, you have this junky ranch dressing, which is soy oil or canola oil uh, or whatever. And so you, you're, you're really not getting a lot of nutrition. It's almost like a dessert, right? And that it has pesticides and other crap in it. So, so no good. I have one every single night before, for dinner. I love lemons. 
I like to make lemon water in the morning. So that's cool, but again, with the, with the lemons and everything, you wanna make sure it's organic, clean it before you put it in the fridge because they can have pesticides on that. Bugs love fruit. In the evening, lime for the tequila sodas, you know what I mean? And here's some extra corn on the cob. We like to do that whenever we grill. The bottom drawer, not as exciting. Oh, more candy. So a bag of M&Ms and Twix and stuff like that, Snickers. Just, you know, you know, don't do it. You know who. Cinnamon rolls if I'm home on... Cinnamon rolls. All right, so this appears to be from a big box, pre-made. It's in a, in a tube. Just no good. I, there's a bunch of recipes that you can make this yourself um, with, with higher quality ingredients. No question, this is just gonna be loaded with sugar and uh, wheat and all this crap. Uh, again, a one-off thing, but if you're doing that with a lot of junky dairy, you're drinking a lot of conventional wine, you're having a bunch of sugar from the, you know, the, the uh, uh, juices and then the, the yogurts. I mean, it's just like, it's just too much processed stuff. Well, that's it guys. Um, I think on the plus side, it appears that she's giving her dog meat and it appears that the meat is, uh, which is good. So if dogs need meat, they need real food. So Aaron, uh, in, in summary, I would recommend you pay someone to do the shopping for you from more local uh, you know, stores, get more locally harvested vegetables, get rid of the commercial big box uh, cheeses and you know, yogurts that have sugar in there and get more you know, high, higher quality eggs. It sounds like eggs are a big part of your diet. Make sure you're getting non-GMO organic hummus and less, uh, less stuff in plastic. There's a lot of, think about it, everything in there was packaged plastic from the salad to the yogurt, all of that. Not only is it bad for the environment, it's bad for your health because you're getting, you're, these things are off-gassing microplastics, which cause fertility issues, hormone issues, brain issues, inflammation, uh, they're endocrine disruptors. So uh, hopefully that will give you a little bit of a better insight. If you like these sort of videos, we also did one, Selena Gomez did a little background about what's in her fridge. You know, she's a, a popular singer and there were similar trends there, although she was a little bit more, uh, Selena was more in favor of ice cream. So you can check that one out. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, learned something, a nugget or two, and we'll catch you on a future video down the road. Bye now.